This video summarises the abridged version of a Cochrane review led by Cathy Sherrington entitled Exercise for Preventing Falls in Older People Living in the Community. One in three community dwellers aged over 65 years fall each year. Falls can cause serious injuries and the rate of injuries increase as people get older. The aim of this systematic review was to estimate the effect of exercise for preventing falls in older people living in the community. The review included randomised control trials that evaluated the effects of exercise as a single intervention compared to usual care or attention control in community dwellers who are 60 years of age and older. Exercise programs were classified using the Prevention of Falls Network Europe, or PROFANE, taxonomy. The categories used were balance and functional exercise, resistance exercise, flexibility, three-dimensional exercise such as Tai Chi, walking programs, endurance and other. Community dwellers were those living at home or in residences that did not provide residential health-related care or rehabilitation. The review excluded trials that tested exercise in people with clinical conditions known to increase the risk of falls, such as Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis and dementia. The main outcome for this review was the rate of falls, which was summarised as a rate ratio. The rate ratio is the incidence rate of falls in the exercise groups divided by the incidence rate of falls in the control groups. Risk of bias for all eligible trials was assessed using the Cochrane Risk of Bias tool. The certainty of evidence was judged using the Grading of Recommendations, Assessment, Development and Evaluation, or GRADE, approach. The review included 108 randomised controlled trials conducted in 25 countries and involving 23,407 participants. 77% of the participants in these trials were women, and the average age was 76 years. There was high certainty evidence that exercise reduced the rate of falls by 23% when compared to control, with a rate ratio of 0.77 and a 95% confidence interval of 0.71 to 0.83. Certain types of exercise reduced the rate of falls more than others. There was high certainty evidence that exercise that focused on balance and functional tasks reduced falls by 24% compared to control, with a rate ratio of 0.76 and a 95% confidence interval of 0.70 to 0.81. There was a moderate certainty evidence that balance and functional exercise in combination with resistance exercise reduced falls by 34%, with a rate ratio of 0.66 and a 95% confidence interval of 0.50 to 0.88. There was low certainty evidence that three-dimensional exercise like Tai Chi reduced falls by 19%, with a rate ratio of 0.81 and a 95% confidence interval of 0.67 to 0.99. Subgroup analyses showed that there was little difference in the effect of exercise on the rate of falls when trials included participants at increased baseline risk of falling compared to trials that recruited all older community dwellers. In trials that only included participants 75 years of age and older, compared to trials of participants less than 75 years of age, and for trials where exercise was delivered in a group setting compared to individually delivered exercise. Exercise interventions led by health professionals, such as physiotherapists, resulted in a greater reduction in the rate of falls compared to those led by non-health professionals, like trained fitness leaders. In summary, there is high certainty evidence that exercise reduces the rate of falls by 23% in community dwellers aged over 60 years compared to control. This means that if you follow 100 people over one year and record 85 falls, exercise would result in 20 fewer falls, with a 95% confidence interval 
of 14 to 25 falls.